In this video traders, we're gonna look at the opening and closing auction process on the London Stock Exchange. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a warm welcome to you. So there is a way of the London Stock Exchange determines the opening price and the closing price for their shares. And it's really quite interesting and it works pretty well. Different to some of the other exchanges, let's look through it and how it all works. So at 7.50 in the morning, a.m. UK time, people can start posting their orders for the auction. The auction process starts. And basically what happens is people can put in limit orders, limit buy orders, limit sell orders, or market orders. And they get shown in the order book like this. So let's say someone wants to buy 2,000 shares at 500, that would be his limit order. If he wants to, or she wants to buy 1,000 shares at market, it would look like this, MKT. And you'd see these stacking up in the order book on the bid side and on the offer side. And then, at eight o'clock, so 10 minutes later, the auction process ends. Now, it doesn't end exactly at eight o'clock because that could be open for manipulation, right? So someone knows it's opening eight o'clock, uh, there's a current price that they've worked out what it's gonna actually uncross that, or get that to a second, gets that in a second. They could pull an order or put an order in to manipulate the price that the actual opening price is, the official opening price is. So there's a randomized time of 30 seconds. So from eight o'clock, there's a randomized 30 second period when the auction can close to stop that manipulation. So that's why we don't often get the close bang on eight. It could be 8.01 up to 30 seconds. So these then, uh, the auction ends and we get what's called an uncrossing price, which is marked down as UT. So you see that if you're watching your time and sales, at level two, you see it as UT. You normally get share um, time and sales, either says UT, it says AT, or maybe it says O. There's other ones as well. But AT is automatic trade, someone's taking the offer or the bid. O is kind of a broker trade. A UT is the uncrossing trade. So the uncrossing price is determined. So it takes in all the buyers, all the sellers, the market orders, the limit orders, works out what the middle price would be. That's your uncrossing price, off we go. Now, the close is pretty similar, but there's some differences to it. So the close, close, 4.30, bang, the auction process starts. So from 4.30 to 4.35, same kind of thing happens, right? People put in their orders, off they go. Buyers and sellers, they're matched, we get an uncrossing price. And most of the time with the thicker stocks, that's what happens. The orders come in, it's all matched, you get an uncrossing price. Again, UT, for that's the closing price of the stock. If that doesn't happen, there's a VWAP period from 4.20 UK time to 4.30. So the volume weighted average price along that time period is used as the closing price for that if we don't get an uncrossing. There's also other anomalies, guys, like if someone puts a huge market order in and it falls outside of specific parameters, then there's an auction extension. If there's a lot of volatility and there's a different price movement, there's an auction, auction extension, there are times and little nuances as well to how auctions could be extended and how they're settled. But beginner's guide here, the majority of the time, this is what happens. By the way, in the opening auction, if there's not enough for an uncrossing price, then the first AT trade, i.e. automatic trade, whether that's a buy or a sell, is used as the open price. So there's always gonna be an open, there's gonna be a sell. Now, if you're watching, if you're trading the FTSE 100, most of the time, it's, you're gonna have a UT price. You can see the undercrossing, see the orders coming in, then the orders get stopped being coming in, and then bang, you're gonna get uh, your auction price. Like I say, the randomized thing is pretty clever to stop someone gaming the system because you can probably see if someone came in and put a massive market order in, that would change the uncrossing price and that might affect some additional trade they've got or whatever it may be. You don't want to have it open to manipulation, same with the close. So that 30, 30 second randomized period uh, really eliminates that. So that's the auction process, guys. London Stock Exchange, clever, works very well. It's for the sets uh, rather than the CQ um ways of trading sets is i've done a video on this before is more automated cq is market maker driven this is for sets when people like you and i who have access to it can put our orders in that's when we get the uncrossing price that's the auction process london stock exchange shares take care enjoy your trading but keep the risk managed bye bye